Hello and welcome to or back to Passive Income Templates. My name is Laura and by the end of this video, you'll know how to self-publish hardcover books using Amazon KDP. Amazon has been beta testing this option with a handful of KDP publishers for some time now and now it's a new way that you can create books. I posted about this in my community tab not too long ago and this beta feature just showed up one day and I was very excited to start creating hardcover books and if you're interested in how to convert a paperback, one of your existing paperback titles, to a hardcover, I have a video all about that, but this video is about creating hardcover books from scratch. These hardcover books, yes, they are a little bit more pricey to create, but these are really great for kinds of keepsake, memory books, think special occasions, or any other kind of book that would be a little bit more durable than the average paperback. Um, so that's something to keep in mind when it comes to creating your titles. Uh, I will do a video about hardcover niches. If you are interested in that, let me know if that's something that you would like to see. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this hardcover option right here and straight away you'll see that um, you've got hardcover, hardcover, hardcover. So for the most part the submission panel is the same. There are a few slight differences when it comes to uploading your titles. Um, most of them you will see on the second and third page here, this hardcover content and hardcover rights and pricing. So I will go ahead and fill in this information and let's take a look at this second tab. When it comes to selecting a interior trim size, what you'll notice is that there are far fewer options when it comes to hardback books as of right now. So the smallest you have is 5.5 by 8.5 and the largest is 8.25 by 11 both of which will need a little bit of adjustments if you have a um, 5 by 8 um, paperback book or an 8.5 by 11 paperback book. Um, like I said, that video that I created is very helpful for helping you make those adjustments. You can use Canva's Canva Pro's magic resize feature. It's really helpful for getting your interiors just right. Um, but let's go ahead and create a 7 by 10 hardback book. And what I'm going to do is go over to Amazon's KDP cover calculator. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in all the appropriate details. So of course I want to create a hardcover, black and white, white paper. Let's go left to right. This is limited to, it's mostly left and right available for most countries. There's, um, a limited number of languages that you are actually able to print right to left, but for now let's just stick to left to right and let's select our 7x10 interior trim size and the, for the purpose of this video let's just create a simple 100 page interior. The minimum that you are able to do with a hardback book is 76 pages. So we're going to calculate our dimensions over here. This is a lot of informa information to digest at once, especially if you're used to creating paperback covers. Don't worry, what you really need to know is the width and the height. So we're going to plug those numbers into Canva. Just make sure that when you plug in your dimensions in Canva, you're choosing inches, not pixels, and generating your design. Also from that Amazon cover calculator tool, you can download a template. I've just popped this one here for this 7x10 book. And this makes it easy for us to see exactly where all the elements will be. This is where our barcode will be. This is where our spine is. And this is the spine safe area on both sides of our case laminate hardcover book. So this means that the artwork, the design will be printed directly onto the book itself and not on a dust jacket. So what I'm going to do to complete this cover is to, whoops, this has become part of the background now. So I'm gonna detach this from background. I'm just going to 
size it and just crop it so that I can keep it within plain view. I'm going to put in a nice background, maybe let's make it a little bit nice and fall-like because it is autumn right now. And let's pop in some elements. I've chosen a nice tiling pattern here so you can see when I go to put them side by side, they line up beautifully and they create a nice seamless pattern. So I'm just gonna copy those and paste them until I've got an entire notebook cover designed. I'm gonna group them and just rinse and repeat. a little bit hard for me to see what I'm doing at the bottom here so I'm just going to move this one out of the way and make sure everything is lined up. So there it's looking good. Let me just move this out get this back to where it needs to be. And when it comes to making sure that I've got everything where it needs to be on my cover I'm just going to put in a little bit of a guide here. And then I'm going to fill in some text. Just popping in this pre-made option here. And what I will do is I will size it over until I can see that I've hit the middle with this one. So let's just put notebook hardback, just for the sake of this video. And I'm going to bump that up somewhere to the top, just above the top middle. And I will size that down. And just going to double check again to make sure this is exactly where it needs to be. And I will go ahead and delete my guide element and I will go ahead and then download the PDF print version of this book and I will show you what it looks like once it's uploaded to Amazon KDP. For the interior, I'm going to create a really simple um, design with bleed so you can see the dimensions that we've got going on here. And I'm just going to create something that matches the cover. I'm going to use the same leaf element and just turn down the opacity way down and just kind of copy and paste that just so that we have a nice really simple interior just so that you can get a sense of what you can do in Canva and it doesn't have to be the same old kind of lined interior all the time. And now that those are all in place, I'm just going to go ahead and lock those together so they don't get in the way. And I'm going to input a line. I'm going to go a little bit darker than what I would normally do for a notebook. Um, just because, just so that you can see what I'm doing on screen. And I'm just going to copy and paste where I want the top, where I want the bottom. And then copy the top element, paste, paste, paste. Let's just fill in a bunch of different lines. Don't worry if it looks crazy. And then highlight those all. And then select position, tidy up. And we'll be able to reposition this back to the center. And our page is done. So I'm just going to duplicate this all the way up to 100 pages. Um, because that's the size that I selected for my cover. It's designed to accommodate 100 pages and that's the most that Canva will allow me to create. Otherwise, I would have to stitch together different pages, which is totally something that you can do. Um, but you would have to use a tool like I love uh, PDF or PDFjoiner.com, something like that. So those are, of course, available to you. 
I'm just going to create a very simple 100 page journal for the sake of this video. And once this is all done, I am just going to download PDF print and show you what this page looks like in Canva. And of course, I'm going to have to switch over my settings to include with bleed. Here is our finished hardcover book. Here's what it looks like when it's ready to preview on Amazon KDP. As you can see, we've got no errors that are coming up and all of our pages with bleed look great. And when you're ready to approve and move on to the next tab uh, when it comes to publishing your book, you'll notice that there are quite a few less options when it comes to uh, the countries that you're able to publish these hardcover books in as of right now. Perhaps this will change in the future when Amazon has more capacity um, in different countries. But for now, there's plenty of options and this could be a really great way to expand the types of products they're able to offer to your customers. So let me know if this was useful to you. I hope it helps with creating your hardback books. If you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tips and templates for making passive income with print on demand. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.